Hello there. Welcome to the last part of our topic, data processing. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the activities involved in processing data. Remember, if you're going to cook rice, there are different activities. You're going to wash it, parboil it with warm water, add ingredients, and all before you get the final result. Same way with data. We have three different activities involved in processing our data. They include input, processing, and output. Let us talk about these three activities extensively. Input actively can be carried out using three steps. Collection is the first activity on this list. This collection involves gathering, collecting data from various sources, and assembling it at one location. Secondly, we have the verification and validation stage. This activity ensures that the data gathered from the first stage are accurate and complete. This step is very, very important because it helps to eliminate the possibility of garbage in, garbage out, popularly known as GIGO. Lastly, coding. Coding is the last activity involved in the input activity. Our data must be converted into a machine readable form in a language the processing system, which is often the computer, would understand so that they can easily be processed. Do you know that entering data via a computer terminal and keyboard is a practical example of coding? Yes, it is. Now, we'll take a look at the processing activities. The processing activities involves five different stages. The first stage is the classification stage. This stage involves the organizing or categorizing of data according to certain characteristics to make it meaningful to the user. For instance, we can categorize the types of food items we have in the kitchen into grains, tubers, liquids, spices, and the likes. The next in line under processing activity is to sort. The sorting process involves arranging the grouped data elements into a predetermined sequence to facilitate processing. For example, tubers can come last on the category table. Sorting can be done either with the use of letters, sizes, numbers, or combination of them. And after sorting, we calculate. I'm sure calculating is not a new word to you, as you've been doing that, especially in mathematics. In data processing activity, it is also the arithmetic or logical manipulation of data. For example, the computation of student points average customer's bank balance and employee's wages summary comes next. Oftentimes, working with a large volume of data can be tiring, hence the idea of summarizing comes in. Reducing a large amount of data to a concise, usable form called summarizing. When we reduce data logically and reasonably, it helps to produce quick and useful information. The final stage under processing activity is to store. Storing helps us to keep data and are not immediately needed. They can be stored on a disk, a tape, or CD-ROM. Finally, we'll look at the output activities. This process only involves retrieving data, printing data, and data communication. Easy, right? In conclusion, remember that our society is becoming more competitive and more technologically advanced, leading to the high volume of data being generated daily. Hence, data processing becomes very vital. We will stop here today. Do well to attempt the quiz questions attached to this lesson. Thank you and bye for now.